this is a quick video just to show how you use this three or four dollar cell phone mount from uh, eBay to make a pretty perfect uh, cell phone holder for your sports bike. Goes right into the hole in the top of your triple tree. Some holes are smaller than the others, but it can fit in all of them, and I'll show you how. This hole in this 2010, 2010 um, Yamaha R1 is smaller than the hole that's in the top of my triple tree on my 2007 ZX610R. So, but that's sitting in there snug, and you can uh, just clamp down on your. He has a Note 4, and it holds it just perfectly. I have a Note 4 also, so you'll see how that goes. Um, there's my son, and my boy. And I don't know where my daughter just went off to. Alright, so this is my ZX10R. And, um, when you purchase this piece from uh, from China or whatever, it's just going to come in pieces, three pieces. You have your grabber, you have the lock nut that holds it all together, tighten it up. And then you have this piece that is usually suction cup to your window or whatever. Because this is just a, a car mount, a car cell phone holder, suction cups glass or whatever. What I did was I grabbed it and I just pulled the hell out of it until it separated right here, pulled and twist, and then the metal is malleable, it broke pretty easily. Um, or either I'm just super strong, I don't know. But um, so now I have this neck that's going to go down into the hole in my triple tree. My hole is a lot larger on the ZX 10R than the one in the R1. But <clears throat> what we're going to do is first put the lock, lock nut on, then slide this in, and then you just tighten that up on onto the screw if it'll go on all right and now boom you can tighten that up you could actually even adhere you can put super glue in there and whatever you want to once you get it to a point that you're satisfied with so now you see this is going to extend down into the hole now you see if i drop it in there like that it's, not, it's loose but if you snake this just s it even if you just bend it this much like this, that's going to grip onto the walls on the inside of this, and it's going to hold it pretty steady. So, um, there's my daughter. So, I'm going to snake that in there, and, and it locks into place too. Now, I didn't screw down on this um, nut to tighten it, which I'll do that right now. And then I'll find my cell phone. I probably should have screwed down on this nut first. There we go, nice and tight. Then I take out my um, my cell phone, my Note 4, and you see on the ZX10R you have the, uh, the the steering dampener right there, and also your key is right here. But this really doesn't um, this really doesn't get in the way. Once you have the bike on and stuff, okay. Once you have the bike on, it's no problem. It's not too much in the way. It clamps down on your phone. And you're good to go, and you still have um, you still have room for your key and whatnot. So let me see. I have an app. Uh, okay, I can't find anything all of a sudden. Uh, well, let's just put on Netflix. I was trying to find my Google Maps, but I couldn't find it. So. And of course, you can toss this. You no longer need this, so just throw it away. And you can do little tricks and stuff to actually make this so that it uh, it's, it holds even stronger. But and which is what I'm going to do. But I just wanted to show you a simple installation, and you can see from this view what you can still see the dash. You can still read everything, and the key sits right behind it. There's no problem with getting the phone off neither. So I'll go ahead and take it off. So you just reach behind it and boom, it comes right off. You put it back on. Boom, it's back on. And it holds it pretty well. Very well actually. This is a low wind area anyway, since it's right up under the shield. You're good to go.